Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to connect to a network interface print device using Windows 7. Please note, you must know the IP address of your network interface print device. You can obtain that easily by printing a test page on the print device itself. So let's get started. I'm going to click on the start button and then click on devices and printers. You'll see a list of my installed devices and printers but I would like to add a new printer. So I'm going to click on add a printer and I would like to add a local printer. Now keep in mind this seems like it would be the wrong thing to do since we're adding a network interface print device. However, a network printer technically in Microsoft's terminology is a printer share on a different print server. Connecting to a network interface print device is still a local printer because my computer is going to communicate directly with the print device using a TCP IP network just like it would using a USB cable or a parallel cable. So I'm going to click on add a local printer. I am going to create a new port except I am going to drop the type of port box down and select the standard TCP IP port and then I'll click next. The IP address of my virtual, so it's fictitious in this example, but my print device's IP address is going to be 10 10 0 50 and I'm not going to query the printer and automatically select the driver to use because the printer doesn't really exist. In the real world, if I really were connecting to a network interface print device, I absolutely would leave that box checked. Then I'll click on Next, and it's trying to detect the TCP IP port. And this may take a little time because the printer does not actually exist. Okay. Our wizard was not able to communicate with the print device because the printer doesn't actually exist. This is a demonstration. If you are actually connecting to a network interface print device, you probably won't even be asked for this step. But in the demonstration, I need to define the type of print device I'm connecting to. You can look through here and there's a lot of different options for devices to connect to, but I just choose generic network card and click next. And now I need to define the printer driver we're going to use as our print driver for our network interface print device. So I'm going to select HP and I want to put in a LaserJet. And let's just say LaserJet 4100 series PCL6. And then we'll click on next. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a printer name HP LaserJet copy room. I like descriptions that define the printer and where it's located. Click on next and we're installing the printer. I'd like to share this printer at this point in time and I'm going to leave the bullet point and share this printer so that others on your network can find and use it. And the default share name is great with me HP LaserJet copy room and then click next. I do not want it to be the default printer, so I'll then click finish, and I now have the HP LaserJet copy room printer installed on my Windows 7 computer. This concludes my demonstration today. This is BrickHouseLabs.com, and thank you very much for watching.